the apostles returned to Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. And he said to them, Come away by yourselves to a lonely place and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a lonely place by themselves. Now many saw them going and kneeling, and they ran there on foot from all the towns, and got there ahead of them. As Jesus landed, he saw a great throne, and he had compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. God is good, and all the time, and I am a witness of the Lord's goodness. And today I want us to reflect as we say we are witnesses, that we be witnesses also who are witnesses as Africans. I want to appreciate that some of our children who have been in school for the last uh, one month or two months or so are here because I can see them, those who are Involving in primary schools and those who are so involving in high school that I'm sitting here. So welcome them for this short holiday or one month. And as we welcome them as parents and those who are older than them, we want to assure them that as the Lord is inviting us today, we shall be shepherds to them. Parents, that you are going to be shepherds. Our theme that I would like us to share this morning is what comes from our gospel and our readings today. Christ the teacher began to teach them many things. Christ the teacher began to teach them many things. And when we hear the opening words of that thing, we realize that is the name of our chaplains, isn't it? Isn't it? Maybe some of you don't know that our chaplains is called what? Christ the teacher. Christ the teacher. And therefore we are in a place where Jesus is teaching us. And those who are king at the entrance of the main door, there is something written there from the scriptures in Swahili. I don't know whether anybody has ever seen those words in Swahili. What is written there? Anybody knows? And the main, the main door up there in Swahili. Anybody? Anybody? You know, you pass through the door there, and I hope you all to check there. It's written in Swahili. Tonight? Kwa hivyo leo tuna 
mwalimu ili tuweze kukaa chini na kusikiliza huyu mwalimu mwalimu wetu kama ni mmoja naye ni nani na Kristo anapo tufundisha basi tusikize basi tusikize Jeremiah in our first reading is telling us the situation that was there in Israel. That the Lord was sending prophets. Was sending prophets. But some of these prophets, some of these prophets were not passing the right message. And some of these prophets were not being listened to. And therefore, at one time, the Lord was very angry with the children of Israel and even with some of the shepherds. And that is why Jeremiah, in this chapter 23, is telling us a time will come where the Lord Himself will set shepherds over the flock. Shepherds will be different from the other shepherds. Some of the shepherds were coming and mistreating the sheep. Some of the shepherds were even killing the sheep. Some of the shepherds were scattering the sheep. And therefore a time will come. And Jeremiah is prophesying a time when will come a shepherd who will come and bring the shepherd and the sheep together. And the sheep is a flock of Israel. They were scattered all over. And when the devil listened to the voice of the Lord with the prophets, the Lord let them be taken into captivity in Babylon. And they are staying for 70 years. And Jeremiah was saying, telling them, Yes, a time will come. A time will come when a shepherd will be brought by the Lord to shepherd his people. He was prophesying about the Messiah. The responsorial psalm inviting us in the psalm that all of us know and it is very familiar with. But then I have allowed myself to be shepherd. I have allowed myself to be shepherd. If I don't allow myself to be shepherd, then how can I? How can I reach the green pastures? And they are going to when I say the Lord is my shepherd, I I am also reminded I have to be ready to let the shepherd. I 
I know them. And they swam. If you read the whole of chapter 10 of St. John, talking about the shepherd, the shepherd who comes through the door, the shepherd who does not come over the fence. Because the one who comes over the fence and not through the gate is coming to destroy and kill. And those are the old shepherds whom Jeremiah is saying that they were not able to do the right thing. Now the true shepherd is coming. And these words are the words of Jesus himself. That my sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. Am I following the true shepherd? The gospel reading highlights all this by Jesus reminding us through the mouth of the man that when he had listened to the testimony and the report card of the apostles because he had sent them away, they bring the report back and what do they say? They return to Jesus and told all that they had done and thought. They are bringing this report back to the one who had sent them and this is Jesus. This reminds us, my brothers and sisters, that I and you are also going to be asked to bring our report card, to be accountable for our actions at the right time. That at one time we shall go before the throne of the Master and we shall explain and say, yes, this is what you gave me, this is what you sent me to do, here is my report card. And what did the apostles say? They told him all they had done and thought. He must have been happy with the report because he gave them a holiday. Yes, he gave them a holiday. He tells them, come away by yourselves to a lonely place, rest for a while. Yes, you need to realize yourself so that again I can send you. So he tells them, give them a holiday. Give them a leave so that they can be able to rest for a while. Why? Because the work was many. For many, were coming and going. They had no leisure even to sit down for a meal. Christ, the teacher, the master, is the one who master. Who does not want, does not want his apostles to only go and work and work and work? No, he wants them to retire, to go a little bit away from the crowds, to have even a moment of rest, a moment of even feeding themselves. And therefore they went away. They went away with the means of transport that they knew very well those days. They went into a boat and they were crossing on the other side. And the crowds were hungry for the word of God. The crowds were hungry because the work that the apostles did must have been a wonderful work. Because when they saw them and they knew where they were going, they ran before. If they had done a poor work, if they had not done well, would they follow them? The only people who follow people blindly in our country and without doing anything good are, uh, tell, I'll say, the foolish people who follow politicians as they campaign because they are going to be given handouts. This is what was happening recently in the elections in Kiama. People are following, but not following because they understand what they have been told, but at the end of the political rally, they are going to be given handouts. The disciples are being followed because they did what was right. Of course, some of the times, the crowd was following Jesus because he fed them. But the apostles must have fed them with the word of God and therefore they are being followed. And when they were back on the other side, Jesus saw them and had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Remember Jeremiah has already prophesied that a shepherd will come, will say, be sent by God, a shepherd who will be able to shepherd this sheep. Well, without killing them, without harassing them, and that is Jesus himself. He now is 
instead of going to rest with the apostles, we are told he had a compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So, what did he do? Did he go to rest? Did he go to rest? We are told, and he began to teach them many things. Today, me and you are the ones that Jesus is teaching. And also we are the ones who are teaching with him. As priests and prophets, of which all of us are, we are priests and prophets who are baptism. Yes, I am a priest in the order of Melchizedek because of my ordination. All of us are called to teach. And therefore, in this year of St. Joseph, we are called to be creative in our teaching just like St. Joseph. In the month of July, the Holy Father invites us to reflect on our Father Joseph, who was a creative father, a very creative father. And I only mention two aspects of the creativity of Joseph. When Joseph and Mary arrived in Bethlehem, and they found no place where they would stay for the night, Joseph, in his creative mind of a carpenter, went and turned a major. When the animals were sleeping in a very wonderful bad place of Jesus. That is creativity. And they were comfortable there, being surrounded and hedged by the animals. The warmth of the sheep and the cows was where the Jesus was born. That was the creativity of St. Joseph. So we are called to be creative like St. Joseph. Even in our taking the gospel of uh, far and wide. Secondly, when Joseph heard that Jesus would be killed by Herod, who was looking for all the little bits born, again Joseph in his creativity at once arranged for a pilgrimage to Egypt. And there carried Mary and Joseph to Egypt. A long pilgrimage? Yes. But in his creativity, he made this pilgrimage to save the life of baby Jesus. Of course, we can look at many other ways that Joseph was created, and then leave that to you or for another day. Today, my brothers and sisters, we are called to be creative, to be shepherds, amid the things that surround us, amid the situations that surround us, the corruption that is right set and forward wherever we are. Corruption in the political arena. Corruption in the economic arena. That is their power. That sometimes we are not able to meet our ends because of that corruption. Yes, that is where I am called as a shepherd to shepherd the people of God, to shepherd myself so that I can turn things differently, I can do things differently. Yes, we are called to be shepherds today, especially my dear young men and women in the university, in this era of the unchecked social media, the internet is coming even to the sanctuary of our hearts that we have no space, we have no time. Not because we don't have the time, but the time is getting less in our lives, no. But because the time we are glued to the internet, to our phones, and sometimes we are consuming what does not help us. We are sending messages that don't help anybody. And therefore we need to shepherd ourselves and to shepherd others even this era that the internet, especially through social media, has creeped even into the holiness and to in, in the sacredness of our lives. Yes, brothers and sisters, we need to shepherd ourselves and ask the good shepherd shepherd us in our families and especially in the broken families. Families that are breaking every day. We hear divorce, we hear fights, we hear violence in our homes. Yes, we even hear people who don't want to be in homes in the way that the Lord has made them. We hear all these movements of LGBT that people want to have unions that are calling marriages, man and man, to be who they are not after growing. Imagine a handsome young man here, you growing here, and in the fourth year, 
in a university, and everybody would know you are a beautiful, handsome, handsome dude. And all of a sudden, the graduation day, you come and say, you know what, guys, you know what I do. And, and I am my own name, God. Imagine, just imagine that. With that friend of yours, number one. And I'm just a Maria C. Charlie Getty David. Those are the kind of things that happen, you know. And those are the brokenness that are in our society. That people want to be, be who they are not. And those are brokenness that are brought by the evil one. And they are shepherds, shepherding yourself and shepherding others. And we shepherd ourselves and bring us ourselves out of that. The poverty that surrounds us. The sicknesses that are there. Minor sicknesses, mental illness that we are finding many people. Like the young man who was in the news last week. We are those that have been sucking blood of other people since he was 14. That is really mental illness, isn't it? And they need to be delivered. They need to be delivered. And there are many, perhaps, you know, around us who have made that such mental illness. We need to be delivered. We need to be delivered from sicknesses that surround us. Cancer, COVID-19, and other sicknesses that surround us. And all behavior that go against the commands of God. Watching other books, not living just lives. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we need to be delivered and we need to be shepherded from these kind of things. Yes, even from the cultural differences that times make us fight, that make us see us not a difference, yet we belong to one God, God the Father, who has created us. We are called, my brothers and sisters, to be shepherds in our own rights. You are called to be a shepherd in your own right. You are called to be a teacher in your own right. And therefore, you must play a rightful role. You must play your rightful role. I as a priest, you as a Christian, you must play that role. Christ is the teacher. Teaching us many things. And I'd like to end by taking the acronym of teacher and look at it and see how Christ the teacher can be our teacher. I'll ask the person who is uh, projecting while I put these words that maybe you can type in some as well, people can also remember. The word teacher. The word teacher. And the word teacher, I want to look at it Christ the teacher. Christ the teacher. T, we take it as Christ calling us, just as he called the disciples of them, follow me. When they followed him, then he went to train them. So the T stands for training. And when we are being trained, it is when we undergo our catechesis, our catechism classes, so that we can understand who the Lord is for us. So the T, starting there, is teaching. Then the E, and here the E, those who came for the reconnection yesterday, unfortunately, many did not come. I don't know why. It's a moment for reflection, but those who came, we were very edified. And remember the quotation from the philosopher who? The philosopher Socrates. And what do you say? I am examined, right? Is not what? So the key there, I take it for. An examined life. And an examined life is what gives us the conscious, the mid, the conscious. And the conscious is that we have, have an informed conscious and a formed conscious. So the E there stands for an examined life. It's not worth living, as you were reminded yesterday by our preacher, uh, uh, the quoting Socrates. And that gives us the conscious that all of us have to understand. Then the A. The A is that after we have been trained, after we have examined our life, then we accept the Lord Jesus. We accept the Lord Jesus. And how do we accept the Lord Jesus? It is through faith. It is through faith. And therefore the A there is inviting me to accept the Lord Jesus with all my life, with all my strength. Accepting the Lord Jesus. 
See, taking from what God said today, that as a shepherd who is called to follow and to shepherd myself, then I have come the Spirit of Jesus. And what happened to Jesus? We are told when he saw the crowd, what did he do? He had compassion on them. And we too have to have compassion. And this compassion will help us to learn more about Jesus and to teach others. So we see there is that have to be compassionate, compassionate for others. That we can love them, we can teach them all the time. The H is that when you learn all this, we do this in hope. Hope that the Lord Jesus will lead us into his eternal kingdom after teaching us what we should do. Hope standing, I and mean, H standing for hope. From H, what is the other letter? What is the other letter? Another E. Then when we are living in this world, despite the discouragements, despite all the situations that you have mentioned, corruption, sickness, social media and all that, we then become encouraged. We become encouraged. We encourage ourselves and encourage others. The E there and stands for encouragement. We get encouragement from the word of God so that we can live on our life. And the last letter is what? Uh, to be able to follow what the Lord Jesus is teaching us, we have to be trained, yes. We have to examine our life. We have to accept the Lord Jesus. We have to be compassionate of the Lord Jesus. We also have to have hope that is leading us in the right direction. We have to encourage ourselves all the time that we've got to be tough. We've got to be resilient. Resilient in our shepherds. The R there is for resilience. Be tough. Be strong. Do not be shaken by anything that comes. Waves may come. But my brother and sister, we are taught by Christ the teacher, we should not be moved. Let us be resilient in our shepherdness and be shepherded by the Lord Jesus. So, Christ the teacher is really teaching us, isn't it? Isn't it? We allow ourselves to be taught. We allow myself to, be, to follow Christ in the right way. We should. Christ the teacher. We got to teach them many things. Today is teaching me, to be training me, to examine my life, to accept the Lord Jesus in faith, to be compassionate like he is compassion, to have hope, to have encouragement all the time, and to be resilient, to be tough in my life. Not to fear Satan and his army, because Jesus has the strongest army in his world. I end again where our the collection master ended yesterday. Remember he told us that that kind of film, the plane and God was a pilot. What did he miss? What did he miss? He did not know how to bring the, the plane down. Because the, what he pressed was good watch. By, next money. by the next man. I want to tell you that by this man, what this man is. Again, you can help me again with the money that I'm going to give here, that we finish. The manual that we have to be shepherds, my brothers and sisters, is one, and it's very good. And this manual has these letters, B, I, B, L, E. What do you mean? Bible. What do you mean? Bible. The Bible is that manual. So what do does that do the acronym of Bible, the Bible mean? B. Best I instructions. The other B before. The L living. The E ah. So best instructions before living. Ah. If that fellow had that one, you would not have not known how to learn the thing. If you are following Jesus Christ by the manual, and the manual is the Bible. Christ, the teacher, is today teaching us many things. Let us, on the last letter, the word teacher means, let us be resilient in our faith in the Lord Jesus.
exclusive to Jesus Christ.